everyone it's me Anna and today I'm here with a haul um, first let me start by showing you the Martha Stewart iron fence punch that I was looking for all over the place um, it is a discontinued punch so I did get this um, through the UK uh, I believe I paid probably like 19 something that was including the shipping for US dollars so I got that I don't really remember the site it was like two sisters something dot com I, I can't remember um, then I purchased an order at uh, Simon says stamp dot com and I got the Alpine snowflake I got this um, Kaiser craft silly season stamp set I also got this stamp. It's called Crystal Snowflake. Really pretty. It also has um, the coordinating die. So if you guys are interested. And this is by Memory, Memory Box. I got the index, I'm sure, yeah, the index card stamp. And this is also by Memory Box. And I got the Polar Bear Globe and is also by Memory Box. So I picked up some of their dies. I got the Flowering Christmas Tree. And this is what it looks like. Looks like. It's really pretty. I got the Grand Snow Globe. Because there's, I think, a small, a medium, and then the grand. And this coordinates with this stamp. With this stamp. I got the blank ticket die. These are all by Memory Box. I got the index card die to go with the stamp set. So it's really cool. And i seen this set. i seen these through... Um, Catherine at the Scrap Beach. I got this Frosty Border. And that's what it looks like. This is also a die. The Elegant... I can't read. The Elegant... Scroll Work. Sorry. The Winterland Tree. The Mandara, a Mandara Corner die. I thought that was really pretty. And that was it from uh, Simon Says Stamp. And that's SimonSaysStamp.com. Then I, oh, <coughs> I was looking for um, the stamp that coordinates with the blank. Wait, wait what is it? the blank ticket die because um at Simon Says Stamps they were out of stock so I was looking for it on you online and I um, found this website it's called ellenhudson.com it's www.ellenhudson.com and I purchased um she sent me a cute little thank you note with some free ribbon which I thought was nice um, so I also purchased this um, it's called Santa globe and this also coordinates with the grand globe die so oh, I can't wait to use these um, so I picked up the the blank ticket die um, the blank ticket stamp from her um, which her prices were really reasonable so if you want to check her out go right ahead um, so I got that to go um, with the die. So I was happy that I was able to find it. Um, and I also got this Frosty Veil border, which is beautiful. Love it. Um, I have another uh, punch by Martha Stewart coming. It's I don't know. I hope it comes today. It's the um, the Nordic the Nordic snowflake. Um, I mentioned that I wanted to pick up another 
Holly Jolly Christmas by Echo Park on my last video. Um, so I did, and I actually purchased another one by accident, so I ended up having to pay another. But this one was only $15, and it was free shipping, so that was pretty cool. The other one was also $15.99, and I think the shipping was like three-something. So anyway, you know, being that I had already commit to buy it, I figured why not buy it. So I have extra paper, which is cool. It's always good. You can never have enough paper. So then I went to my local scrapbooking store and I purchased, um, I remember telling you in my last haul video that I was waiting for them to get the um, Bow Bunny Snowfall paper and um, I had ordered it online and they were running a sale that day and the collection was at, it was originally $19.99 and it was 25% off so it was $14.99 so I actually purchased two which I was really excited about, um, so I really didn't mind waiting to get it, um, especially that I'm not going to use the paper yet, just yet anyway. So um, they called me and told me that the papers were in, and I was so excited, and so, oh, this paper is just delicious. I can't wait to use it. So I'm really glad that I did purchase two of them. So I got that. And I also got a couple of other things that I could have got at Michael's or Joann's or AC Moore. But, you know, I figured I'm going to support my local scrapbooking store because these little mom and pop stores, you know, if it's not for us, they re they really can continue and get, you know, and stay open. So and also they carry a lot of lines that Michael's and Joann's and like AC Moore don't carry. So I figured, you know... I instead of going to the bigger stores let me just buy what I'm gonna buy here even if it costs me just a little bit more so I ended up picking up this Sizzix dye and <coughs> it's called a uh, snowflake set <laughs> and it comes with four and it's really cool and it was only five dollars so I thought that was really affordable um, I haven't gone to Sizzix to see how much they normally go for, but I did pick it up. I picked up this tie, which I thought was really cool. It's called the Garland Garland Punch, and I figured I could turn this into a snowflake easily by adding some glitter. So I picked this up, and I also picked up some flocking powder, and this is linen white, because I'm going to try to do some flocking. Um and use it as snow on one of my projects and I picked up pearlescent which I really really dig and I got pewter so they didn't have any purple which I was bummed out about but anyway so I did end up picking up the autumn collection distressing inks by ranger and I got gathered twigs and this is what it looks like um, ripe parsini par wait I can't see par pars I can't really see this I'm so sorry yeah ripe parsinian and that's what it looks like I'm so sorry I don't have my glasses on um and this is called seedless pres seedless seedless preserves sorry so I picked that one up and I also picked up the Christmas um the Christmas set. So these were $17.99. I'm pretty sure I could have got them a little cheaper on eBay, but I figured why not support my local scrapbooking store. And I do go there sometimes and crop there. So I really enjoy that place. Um this one is called Evergreen Bow. This one is called Fiesta Berries and this one is called Ice Spruce and on my last video I had made a um uh, I had said the name of the store that I purchased these um goodies at and they are scrap a dab scrap a dab scrap a doodle do at wait scrap a doodle -doo dot com and I also had mentioned about another place that I shop at, and I said the same the same site, which is not. It's actually Scrapadoodle. Scrap a Scrapadoodle do. Wait, 
now I'm confused. Scrapper Dabba Doo, that's what it is. Scrapper Dabba Doo. So it's Scrapper Dabba Doo.com and Scrapper Doo Doo.com. That's why I got confused. There's a little tongue twister there. But anyway, that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and have lots to be thankful for because I know I have a lot to be thankful for this year. And oh I do want to say that I purchased this little box at um, Amazing Savings and it was only 99 cents. But what I'm going to do with this box is I'm actually going to take it apart and see if I could make it bigger. So I could fit a bigger, min a bigger mini, well it won't be a mini then, but a bigger off album in it so that I could still get the same concept because I like the way it opens because you could actually open it like this and have it standing. So I'm going to do that with this and just make the dimensions bigger. So that's how it opens again. And that's how it closes. So that's all. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope, like I said, you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you're going to be driving that day, be safe. And see you next time. Bye-bye.